each one is called to be holy. Each is a witness to holiness. And for the participants of the second day of the sixth Philippine Conference on the New Evangelization, one thing seems to be clear. Holiness is being young in Christ. Holiness is staying young in Christ. This is Father Angelo Paolo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for PCNE 6. The conference centering on Filipino youth walking with Jesus began with a Eucharistic celebration in honor of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Visitation, presided over by Bishop Leopoldo Hausian SVD, Bishop of Banged, and Chairman of the Episcopal Commission on the Youth. Bishop Hausian called the youth as the treasure, the joy and the strength and the power of the Church and invited participants to entrust themselves to Mary as model of discernment and obedience, of mission and ministry. In his moving and compelling testimony on God's providence and guidance in his life, Bishop Haosian challenged the participants to serve the young with joy and hope. My dear young people, we be like Mary that amid the challenges of life, with her, we have the courage to always discern the will of God for us and together with Mary say, Yes, Lord. Pero habang nakikita ko ng mga misyonerong SVD, sabi niya, Paul, would you like to join us? Sabi ko sa sarili ko, wala nga pang kolehyo, seminaryo pa. On my second year, I applied, I was accepted, I enter, entered first year college philosophy as a Christ the King missionary, but I have to remain working as a sacristan. Isang sacristan, pwede pa lang maging ubispo. All because I was able to open my life to the grace to the love of God. Participants were then introduced to the best practices of youth ministry of mentoring and shepherding disciples through a panel discussion led by Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, Father Jade Likwanan, and Sister Helen Palakay FMIJ. Sharers were the head of the feast, Youth High Benedict Sanchez, lay preacher and motivational speaker, Brother Odi Villarasa, musician and educator, Sister Anunciata, Santa Ana, SPC, St. Paul University, Manila, Chairperson of the College of Music and Performing Arts, Dr. Raul Sunico, Marie Eugenie Institute teacher, Maria Socorro Villafania, Evangelion Foundation speaker, Nelson Villafania, and entrepreneur, John Maria Villafania. The sharing ended with a communal singing of Sino Makapaghihiwalay, written and composed by Sister Anunciata Santa Ana, SPC. After the break, storyteller and musician Michael Shimamoto, spoken word poet Serge Gabriel, treated the participants with their music and musings on life and faith. Jesuit priest, musician, and composer Father Manuling Francisco led the participants in the communal songwriting on the Year of the Youth. Concurrent sessions were held in the afternoon that reflect the various issues that the youth are facing today. Speakers included Dr. Nelly Limbadan on mental health issues of the youth, Father Renato de Guzman, SDB, and Jude Liao deferred on Christus Vivid, Father Norman Peña, SSP, and Post Millennial Slangs, Father Florentino Concepcion on ministering to youth in crisis, Father Domingo Marfori on evangelization through gospel music, Francis Andro Lee on effects of absent fathers on young people, Leslie Ann Rosal on discerning life, family, and love, Dr. Teresita Tabada Rungduin and Alan Saraza on forms of addiction among youth, Clarissa Martinez, Austin Quick, Fathers Paul, Gris Graber, Ethan Southard, and Spencer Lewarens of Clear Media Connectivity on evangelization through digital media, 
Cristina Lamas on new ways of dialogue with the youth, Dr. Virginia Benosa Llorin, Ryan Bestre Albert, Arthur Arevalo, Gloria Amor Paredes on youth on social advocacies. Prayer spaces were filled as participants desired for moments of dialogue with God. Religious merchandise such as books and other literature articles were available beside the Q Pavilion. The youth today continue to face many problems and challenges. But for as long as they, or we as a church, remain with our relationship with God, who is eternally young, the fire of evangelical energy and commitment shall never be consumed. This is Father Angelo Paolo's prayer of the Society of St. Paul for PCNE 6.